how to paint your shoes um, just in general but I'm going to show you how I did this octopus design by hot pink zebra paper so I've already sort of sketched out where I want the tentacles on my shoe as you can see and so then I'm just gonna go through with a brush and thicken up the tentacles and give them their shape and I want to show you this piece of paper that I'm going to that's gonna be on the screen here somewhere um, but as you can see I drew out the shape of the shoe and then I drew out all the tentacles and everything before I even started when you're doing something like this this is a very permanent thing you can't take the paint off and try again once you have got the paint on there it's on there for good and so you want to make sure that you have a clear plan in your head of how you want everything to turn out so that you don't have to go oh man that didn't go right and have to try to figure out how to fix it so make sure that you have your design drawn very clearly and so you can have a plan and it goes exactly according to what you had envisioned in your head and another thing as you can see that i'm painting on a material it's sort of like a suede type material and that's the kind of material you want to use in your painting shoes either that or canvas or not something like a patent leather that's very shiny you want something that's material or not shiny and elastic probably won't work very well either so you just gonna have to find a pair of shoes that has the right kind of material and another thing is i bought these on clearance um that's something i would definitely recommend find a pair of shoes if you want to try this on clearance that might not be even if they're not something that you would generally get um, if they're not very expensive and if you mess them up it's not going to be the end of the world that is the time to get them to try this so now I've got the tentacles finished on both sides as far as their basic shape and I'm going to go through with some diluted purple paint a darker purple and I'm just going to add some of the depth and dimension to my octopus starting with around where his eyes are now this is not anatomically correct this is not really how octa how they look it's a little different it's sort of a stylized version which i am just fine with i'm just wanting you to know that i wasn't trying to actually be realistic here it's just a design um and i'm going to go down one edge of each of the tentacles this is going to be the edge that i think when you're looking at it would be towards the center if he was to put oops put all of his tentacles straight down what would be towards the inside if that makes sense this is where his little suction cups are going to be later on when we add those if that helps either and this is also where you're going to separate where the different tentacles are if they happen to overlap and so that you make sure that you get all of that shaded in and that's going to add so much dimension if you add if you use two colors when you're doing this so now that i've got that done for both sides i'm going to take and do basically the same process and i'm going to highlight basically just his forehead with some white that's diluted and then i'm going to add his suction cups so i'm going to take full strength white on the tip of my round brush and i'm just going to add little polka dots all over one side of his tentacle the side that you darkened with the darker shade of purple so i'm going to do this all over and you don't have to do a single file line of dots or you don't have to do a set of two i wouldn't add any more in a row than than two you don't want to add three in a row but um you can do some that have that show two um that show both of the suction cups you can do some that just have one line do it however you like but i would recommend switching it up so it's not all the same and doesn't have sort of a monotony that you want to avoid when you're doing art okay so then I'm going to be adding his eyes right in those eye sockets that I painted before. And so because you have that already there, your eye placement has sort of been sketched out for you. So it's pretty easy to get them in the right spot at this point. And then I'm going to highlight them with some white while that black is still wet and just sort of blend it in. And then after I've got that blended like that, I'm going to add a polka dot on each side as a reflection. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you like this design. Please share any recreations with me on Facebook or Instagram. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to comment. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.